The market has been in somewhat of a sleepwalking mode in April. Let's take a look at the charts and see what has been going on. My favorite technical indicator, the percentage of stocks trading above their 50-day moving averages. I like to call it AT50, stalled out, but it's still clinging to an uptrend. The S&P 500 is showing its sleepwalking through April. Notice how it just failed to challenge the February high. The NASDAQ is sleepwalking its way around its September 2020 high as a pivot. These technical levels are so important to watch. Notice how the NASDAQ fell away from the February high as well. The ETF of small caps, IWM, has been sleepwalking its way through April and it's just above 20 day moving average support. The VIX is the ultimate sleeper. It has just been falling off a cliff drifting downwards, it's now at 17 month lows, like the market has little to no fear. Here's some fear, uh, CDW Corporation warned about IT spending, but claims that it's gonna take a bigger share. So we'll see how this shakes out in coming weeks. A downgrade knocked big lots all the way down to prices last seen in 2001. That is a serious discount for a discount retailer. Then we have Ally Financial, which does loans in auto, mortgage, and insurance. It failed right at 50-day moving average resistance after rebounding from the pandemic of 2023. Here we have LegalZoom, which is actually looking good. It's 200-day moving average breakout makes a bottom more likely. Notice that previous breakouts had a downtrending 50 DMA. And this is a sneaky one. It's kind of sleepwalking its way through all-time highs. This is Impinge, which is a Internet of Things a connector software company and hardware, I think. And it is looking good. Tesla, which is the big one, dropped almost 10% post earnings last week and it looks like it's flipped into a bearish mode. Notice how the 200 day moving average held its resistance. For more details, you can see me at drdrew.com 122. You can also click my profile picture to subscribe to this channel.